In this Lost Ark Scrapper Guide, I'm going to show you what it means to play as a Scrapper in terms of how well they perform in combat, the best skills and tripods to focus on, and the playstyles available to them. If you're searching for a melee DPS class that consistently deals heavy punches while effectively staggering enemies and buffing the party, then this Lost Ark Scrapper Guide is for you. Be sure to check out our other Lost Ark class guides, including Shadow Hunter, Sorceress, Gunslinger, Paladin, Gunlancer, Deathblade, and War Dancer. Scrappers are one of the advanced classes that falls under the Martial Artist. They wield heavy gauntlets, allowing them to execute heavy-hitting punches to deal massive damage up close. Moreover, they are considered a beginner-friendly class due to how straightforward their skills synergize with one another. As a Lost Ark Scrapper, you can inflict a significant amount of damage mostly through the big punches you deliver with occasional stomps. But this isn't the only thing you're good at, since you also have impairment skills to knock them down or up, allowing you to successfully clear mobs and bosses. Moreover, Scrappers have super armors to protect them from crowd control. Scrappers and War Dancers both have high mobility and they deal considerable damage in Lost Ark, but there are a few differences that set them apart. For instance, Scrappers are capable of staggering strong enemies and mobs to disrupt their strategies and weaken them as a result. She also has versatile skills that let her execute frontal and back attacks. Conversely, War Dancers deal consistent punch and kick combos and do so efficiently because of how much more agile she is. However, she is relatively difficult to pilot due to constantly having to change directions to maximize the damage she deals. If you've been meaning to play a tankier class that's well balanced in terms of damage output and mobility while granting buffs, then you should choose the Scrapper. The Lost Ark Scrapper is a melee DPS class that excels at mostly dealing massive burst damage due to their self buffs coupled with decent sustain damage depending on their skill rotation. As a martial artist, they have good mobility to not only dodge incoming attacks swiftly but also engage enemies with ease. And this is made all the more convenient due to their impairment abilities and durability. Although Scrappers are fairly simple to play, they can become challenging especially in stressful situations. Rather than the default way of consuming mana when skills are activated, they rely on managing resources based on the types of skills they use. In terms of buffs, Scrappers can boost the party's damage quite effectively. All advanced classes in Lost Ark have unique specialties or identities that differentiate them from other classes. These can either unleash more damage or enhance the buffs they grant. For the Lost Ark Scrapper, it's the Stamina and Shock Energy Identity, allowing them to switch between two different skill types. Stamina or Yellow skills expend Stamina Energy, and using them supplies a steady amount of Shock Energy. Shock or Green skills, on the other hand, consume Shock Energy, and activating them replenishes Stamina Energy. It's basically finding the right balance in order to maintain both resources since their corresponding skills grant different benefits. Scrappers have one of the most interesting identities I've seen in the game because it encourages you to experiment with different styles of play. Stamina skills are predominantly comprised of back attacks, while shock skills feature both back and frontal attacks. As such, it teaches players to be flexible when it comes to approaching enemies. To optimize damage output, Scrappers will either need to move behind them or charge in front of them. By the time your Lost Ark Scrapper reaches level 50, you'll have unlocked a total of 20 skills comprised of stamina, shock, and awakening skills. To add to this, you've invested several points into stamina and shock skills to specialize further by unlocking their respective tripods. The tripod system allows players to customize skills in various ways like improving attack power or reducing the cooldown of corresponding skills. In total, you'll only need 8 skills per character with a select number of tripods. In this section, I'll cover the essential stamina and shock skills and tripods you should allocate points into, regardless of the playstyle you end up choosing. Stamina skills and tripods. Charging blow. Rushes towards enemies to deal considerable damage multiple times. Charging blow not only closes the gap between you and your targets, but also temporarily buffs your attack power thanks to the Ready Attack Tripod enhancing the damage you inflict. The other upgrades you choose are Stone Fist and Death Ban. These combinations widen your downward attacks AoE, pulling groups of enemies together, and it also improves the damage dealt against push immune or stronger enemies while boosting your attack speed. Be sure to use Charging Blow when targets are within your line of sight since you can easily miss them due to your high mobility. Fierce Tiger Strike. This allows you to deal two heavy punches to knock down normal and weaker enemies. What makes Fierce Tiger Strike an excellent skill is its ability to buff the party with amplified damage. This enhances their damage for a couple of seconds. It also improves the distance you can cover due to pounce. And finally you have Rough Smash which boosts your attack power by up to 50% as long as you hit at least 5 targets. Dragon Advent An excellent skill where you jump and then punch the ground upon landing to deal explosive damage. Remember that the direction of your cursor determines where you jump to. Because of the excellent mobility tripod you're able to leave further should also consider selecting Conflagration Attack to conjure a ring of fire around you. And nearby enemies are inflicted with burning, which deals damage over time. Lastly, you can pick Advent of the Black Dragon to improve your overall damage. Instant Hit A frontal attack that allows you to launch a huge punch to not only deal massive damage, but also stun enemies for several seconds and counter their attack. Instant Hit is a good skill against mobs to momentarily impair them, 
as this lets you follow through with other more lethal blows to go in for the kill. Next, you're going to need Wide Hit and Final Victor to increase your AoE and add more than 300 degrees to your actual rotation when punching, respectively. And lastly, you can pick Precision to increase instant hit stun duration. Earthquake Chain. Forcibly stomp the ground with your left foot to deal great damage to nearby enemies. To make matters worse for them, you'll want to equip Undying Power and Power Strike. Undying Power inflicts burning to deal damage over time, while Power Strike improves the damage you deal since the number of your stomps increases. And finally, be sure to take Giant's Advance so you can widen the AoE while significantly raising the damage inflicted against Challenge and lower type monsters. Continuous Push, a more improved version of Battering Fist that lets you move and easily change directions while delivering a series of punches over a period of time. While Continuous Push is active, you gain Paralysis Immunity as well as a reduction in incoming damage. However, if you need additional damage mitigation, you can pick the Sturdy Armor Tripod. If not, then I suggest using Vital Point Hit to raise your crit rate. The two other upgrades to obtain are Piercing Strike and Violent Advance. This combination ignores the enemy's defense, making them susceptible to more damage and significantly boosts your attack speed and overall damage. Chain of Resonance, unlocked at combat level 40. This allows you to pull groups of enemies towards you thanks to the Resonance Smite tripod while dealing decent damage in the process. The other Chain of Resonance upgrades to consider are Quick Prep and Rugged Chain. This combination reduces the skill's cooldown to be able to use it more frequently. It also boosts your attack power depending on the number of targets you're able to hit. Shock Skills and Tripods, Roundup Sweep. This allows you to counter the incoming attacks of bosses by delivering one huge punch and it's able to deal greater damage than instant hit. What makes Roundup Sweep highly effective is Additional Strike because you essentially have two attacks available. The only drawback is there's a one second cooldown in between using the skill twice, but timing it right shouldn't give you any issues. The other upgrades to consider are Swift Preparation, which gives you a 50% chance to reset Roundup Sweep's cooldown provided that you deliver a critical hit, and Reinforced Hit to boost your damage. Death Rattle stores massive energy in your heavy gauntlets to unleash the highest amount of damage possible. If you consume all of your shock energy, you deal the most damage because of the shock explosion tripod. You can then amplify Death Rattle's damage against single target bosses with single hit and lessen its cooldown by selecting quick prep. Remember though that this is a back attack skill so be sure to strike enemies from behind. Additionally, avoid being hit by stronger enemies right before releasing Death Rattle, otherwise its cooldown will be triggered. Chain Destruction Fist Continuously smash the ground using heavy gauntlets to deal increasing damage multiple times. To end Chain's Destruction Fist with a bang by inflicting lethal damage, you should take the Great Explosion Tripod. To gain another super armor, specifically pushed immunity, you need Tenacity. And finally, you can pick Endless Rage to execute quick punches to raise your damage on the last smash while widening your AoE bit by bit. Alternatively, you can go with Skillfulness, which doesn't let you attack as fast but mitigates the damage you receive in addition to boosting the damage you deal. Supernova, unlocked at combat level 50. This allows you to deal increasing damage when you conjure a ball of energy, group enemies together, and unleash a massive explosion by punching it. Supernova is a very good damage skill, and to make it more effective, you're going to need Quick Prep, Piercing Strike, and Spinless Hit. This combination reduces the skill's cooldown period, ignores the enemy's defense, which weakens them, and delivers higher damage than intended. If you're going for the Shock Training Engraving and you want to use another Shock skill, I suggest choosing True Rising Fist as opposed to Shedding Strike, which is unlocked at combo level 36. This is due to the larger AoE of the former skill, allowing you to harm more enemies. True Rising Fist lunges into the air and then smashes into the ground to deliver lethal blows. You can use True Rising Fist to engage enemies from a distance or up close, but doing so at melee range will deal the most amount of damage due to your uppercut. Note that you can easily control the direction of where you land by following where your cursor is pointed at. The best True Rising Fist tripods to choose are Fists of Destruction, Objective Hit, and Dragon's Fury. This combination pulls enemies together before executing your first attack, which is the uppercut. It also lets you deal massive damage against nearby push immune targets and significantly boosts your AoE and then damage you deal upon smashing the ground. In Lost Ark, every advanced class unlocks engravings that allow you to further specialize in your chosen class as these grant special effects, which you can activate by reading recipe books and equipping accessories and ability stones. You're able to obtain them as random rewards by completing endgame activities such as Chaos and Abyss Dungeons and Guardian Raids. In this section, I'm going to talk about Lost Ark Scrapper Engravings, which determine the playstyle you wish to adopt for your character and are class-specific abilities and traits. You gain access to this when you reach higher levels. The two class engravings available to the Scrapper are Shock Training and Ultimate Skill Taijutsu. Let's first discuss the Shock Training class engraving or playstyle together with the stats that go with it. Shock Training not only improves the damage dealt using Shock Skills, but also enhances the Shock Energy you gain. This engraving focuses more on making a huge impact with the damage you inflict rather than quickly moving across the room to do so. Aiming for Shock Training Level 3 will notably improve your damage and energy recovery. You can then slot the 4-5 to five Shock skills we've talked about. 
In terms of shock training's combat stance, you'll want to prioritize specialization followed by crit when gearing up. This setup further boosts your shock skill's burst damage while also increasing the stamina energy you gain. It also improves your crit rate and therefore the corresponding damage. Comparatively, Ultimate Skill Taijutsu allows the Scrapper to be much more mobile while dealing consistent damage throughout. It also significantly enhances the passive recovery rate of your stamina energy so that you can use stamina skills more often. Additionally, the damage you deal with these stamina skills is going to be higher, but your shock skills damage won't be as powerful anymore. As such, it's better to equip only 1-2 to two shock skills and 6-7 to seven stamina skills for this build. Make sure to at least have Death Rattle and or Supernova in your rotation as these will still inflict decent damage. For the ultimate skill Taijutsu Engraving, reaching level 3 would be the goal to further enhance your overall damage and natural recovery of stamina energy. In terms of combat stats, you should focus on Swiftness to supplement your high mobility and attack speed while considerably lowering your stamina skills cooldown, which is extremely relevant. You can then allocate points into crit for better crit rate. Final Tips as a Lost Ark Scrapper, you'll have a blast using stamina and shock skills because of how flexible and varied they are in terms of inflicting damage and disrupting enemy strategies. There are some adjustments that need to be made to replenish resources effectively and to maximize the damage dealt with frontal and back attacks. In PvP, the Scrapper has access to a lot of super armors as well as a good mix of skills to deal massive burst and sustain damage. They also have impairment skills to stagger enemies effectively. Scrappers thrive in team fights, so the technique is to deliver big and impactful punches against hordes of enemies. Pulling them together, then finding the balance between stamina and shock skills will maximize the damage you deal. Lastly, be sure to activate stamina skills such as Charging Blow, Fierce Tiger Strike, and Chain of Resonance before using other abilities to temporarily enhance your and your party's total damage. Stay tuned for more Lost Ark class guides, and be sure to check out our Lost Ark wiki or drop by our Twitch channel if you have questions about the game. What did you think of our Lost Ark Scrapper class guide? What advanced class are you playing? Let us know in the comments below.